back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra, and I like to try different products and services that are advertised to me through Facebook, Instagram, or by influencers. And this video is all about the Sill. The past three months, I have tried the Sill subscription service. It is a plant company that does offer several subscription boxes. I chose the pet friendly, the pet friendly one because y'all are little naughty minxes. Pretty sure they've eaten like half my plants. If you guys have any suggestions on how to get your cats to stop eating your plants, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to know. But what was I saying? The sale. I got the pet friendly subscription. It is $35 a month, which might seem a little high, but you receive the plant and the pot that it comes in plus shipping. If you've ever bought plants online or if you've ever shopped for pots, you will quickly realize that it's the pots that are the most expensive. So I think as far as other plants that I've bought, other places that I've been shopping, $35 seems about right. So every month they send you a brand new plant and I decided to see how the plants did, how the quality was, the size, if it was really worth that $35, and if I was able to keep them alive, which is a really big deal because, like I said, I have a lot of plants, but I've probably killed just as many as I own. I am not a professional. If I say any incorrect information on this video, I do apologize. I too am just learning as I go. I am just trying to figure it out one plant at a time. Usually in my house, um, if you don't survive, I don't buy you again. I tried it for three months and this is how it went. So I do apologize that I don't have great footage of this first month's plant. I received this um, on my front porch as I was walking out the house and I was too excited so I brought it with me to my mom's to open up. So it is just a small piece of footage but this is the plant that we received. I just received my second The Sill subscription box. I know that the first time I didn't get very great footage of me opening it, so I wanted to do better this time. It seems to come in a pretty sturdy box. Oh, there's a little bit of dirt coming off, but it comes with the information of what you're getting. This month we got a Calathea, which is a tropical Americas plant. And on the back, it has all of the plant care tips for you. It says remove the wood shavings or the dry moss, holding the potting mix in place. See if your plant needs water. I usually do like two fingers in. <sighs> looks like you pulled this out. Ooh, it's much bigger than our plant that we got last time, but there's quite a bit of soil that has found its way out. It's a little worrisome, but let's see how the actual plant looks. Looks like it has completely lost most of its soil. There is a heat pad in here, which I like that, especially since it has been cold the past few months. So let me see if I can kind of fix our little friend here. He's got some good roots, but as you can see, all the soil is gone. Let me repurpose some of this. I'm going to try to defer to the first time we got this delivered and it was delivered beautifully and it was before the pandemic. So I'm going to contribute this to the pandemic. Let me show you. It is just an absolute mess. I'm a little disappointed with how it came this time, but again, I feel like I can't be too upset during the pandemic. So let me get this repotted and I'll be right back. So I replanted and resoiled my Calathea. I think that the shipping was not perfect, but again, we're going through a pandemic and the UPS drivers, the FedEx drivers, and the US Postal System is going through a huge, all that noise is my children, influx of people ordering. So I don't blame the sill at all for that. And I don't even blame the people delivering. Everyone's just trying to do their best. The plant, is beautiful. 
the leaves look amazing. They are variegated. I've got some new growth already coming in. A baby leaf here. Got a baby leaf here. It's gorgeous. So I'm very, very pleased with the product. And then I briefly showed my plant from last month. It is already growing and it looks beautiful. I am very, very pleased so far. I've got one more month coming and hopefully I am as lucky as I've been the first month. What do you think of my plants, AJ? Which one's your favorite? This one? No. This one? Yes. My Calathea? <laughs> right. And cut. There is a lot of noise in the house right now. I am making dinner and it sounds like one of my kids is taking a bath. But since this came in the mail, I need to unbox it right away. It is the biggest one that I have received so far. Hoping that translates to the biggest plant I've received so far. Last time I opened this, it was kind of a mess. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again this time. But when it was dropped off on my porch, it was laying sideways. There's a lot less soil this time. It's a peperomium, which I have never seen one that looks like this before. Thrives in medium to bright and direct light, can tolerate low and direct light, not suitable. Okay, water weekly, pet friendly, good. For some reason, it came in like the nursery pot and the big pot, so I think I'm just going to put him in here. He is so cute. I definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see. So these are the three plants that I have gotten from the sill. In full disclosure, it is very good that I have the pet friendly uh, subscription because this is what occurred on this side of the plant from my cat as well as this but on this guy if I can get this to focus you can see little leaf growing right there so I am definitely getting some new growth I do like the pots that they came in they're very neutral which is good for my decor they are a little different this one is kind of shiny this one's more square and then this one is a matte but I think they look great I'm going to do side by sides of all the plants so we can see all the growth this guy is three months old this guy is two months old and this is my newest one this is my pilea on day one day 30 and day 60 and then this is my calathea on day one and day 30. my final thoughts about the sill i love it what i love about this sill is they got several different subscriptions they've got a medium plant which is $55. They've got the pet friendly subscription, which is 35. And then they also have a low light subscription, which is also 35. And then everything comes in these really nice ceramic pots. I've noticed that some have drainage holes and some do not. Like this one does have a drainage hole. These two do not. So I did have to put like rocks down at the bottom to assist in that draining. Also choose different pot colors. They've got black, white, cream, and I believe a blue Lush, and I'm not sure if that is in every subscription, but that's at least the options for the pet friendly subscription. All in all, I loved this subscription box. I am a plant enthusiast, even if I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, so adding to my collection is always really fun. I am going to continue getting boxes from the sill. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle somewhere in the screen right now. So follow me over there for additional plant content. And if there's anything specific you would like me to try, leave it in the comments or send me a message on Instagram. I'm always looking for new fun things to try out for this channel. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and wash your hands. Let's not eat my plants. Mm -hmm.